What is good and welcome back to the freestyle trick tip where every week we break down some sort of a skateboarding trick related to freestyle skateboarding. If you're not familiar, that's this stuff. My name is Mike Osterman. If you don't know, I'm a freestyle skateboarder. I've been doing this for a little while. My friends and I love this stuff and you can do it. A lot of people think that they can't, but really the only thing stopping you from doing it is going out and trying it. I'm gonna give you the tools today to take one more trick and add it to your bag. And today we're talking about flamingos. Now, not the flamingos that you used to see in the Tony Hawk games as like a special trick for Mike V. I found that there's another version of the Flamingo or a version that's properly named by a guy named Kevin Harris. This dude. And in my opinion, it is like 20,000 times cooler than the weird calf wrap flamingo trick. So we're gonna talk about that today. Now, the first thing you're gonna have to worry about when you're doing the flamingos is your foot placement. I like to start with my front foot covering all but the front outside bolt, that is the heel side bolt of my front truck. It's sort of the sweet spot for a lot of people. That's not always gonna be the case for everyone. And based on your board and your foot size and so many other factors, you might have to do this differently. Andy Anderson, one of my favorite freestyle street crossover dudes, he introduced me to that little tip and it saved me so much time in learning the flamingo. So you're rolling at a comfortable speed. Your front foot is in the sweet spot on the board. Now you'll start by swinging your shoulders and swinging your back leg around and pivoting off your front foot. Now, this is where you have to start really fine tuning how you lean into your toe or your heel of your foot. In my experience, your toe will be your gas pedal. The more you push into your toe, the more you will force yourself into the rotation, into the carve of the flamingo, right? The more you lean into your heel or sort of the outside of your front foot, the slower you'll spin and really the less carving you will do in the backwards rolling flamingo. Now, the goal of this trick is to do a full 180 degree turn. And ideally, if you're in a contest run or something, you'll be basically changing direction and rolling back down the floor in the direction that you were just coming. So what I like to think of is that my back foot is also gonna be counterbalancing your shoulders. Because if you notice in the video, I'm hunched over over my front foot. So you need your back foot to counterbalance the weight of your shoulders as they're leaning forward, or in this case, now you're leaning backwards, direction's weird. But the point is, you can focus on doing that, pointing your foot out, and that foot is also going to sort of guide the direction of your carve. Now, some guys also like to look over their back shoulder in order to sort of spot the direction they're rolling. I picked this trick up when I was in contests and during the practice routines, the floor is so busy, you need to see where you're going. Before that, I didn't do this and it doesn't really affect the trick all that much. It's more of a safety precaution. Once you've finished your rotation, whether it was a full 180 or just a quick little 90 degree turn, it doesn't have to be a super long flamingo, you can bring your back foot back on the tail and focus on pivoting your shoulders, that is swinging your shoulders so that you are then rolling in the regular position and just, you know, gliding to the next set of tricks you're gonna do. This is footwork. This isn't one that has a whole lot of variations, but it is one of my favorite tricks. It's one of those tricks that I think really lends itself well to technical freestyle. Cause if you're doing a bunch of really heavy tricks in a line and you wanna sort of be a little dainty for a minute, mix it up, change up the flow of the routine. This is perfect for it. So go out and try it, have fun with it. Comment below if you need more tips. This was a quick one but I know there is a lot to these tricks and there's a lot that you need to just go out and try. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Keep dancing and we'll see you probably Sunday for another video.